As my days in the Texas Panhandle were coming to a close, I got as many trains as I could before hopping on a plane back home. On September 2nd, it's midnight 55 in the small town of Stratford, Texas, as a UP train had just entered onto the BNSF Boy City subdivision. In the lead was an ex-Southern Pacific-built AC4400 CW, as the Dale Hart to Amarillo, Texas Manifest Freight train heads south, crossing over its own trackage. The engineer gave off a little horn show as they approached the crossing. Later in the day, I ventured out on the east side of Amarillo, as BNSF 7457 leads an eastbound S train on the Red River Valley subdivision. I hadn't shot anything on this line yet, and saw the opportunity to shoot this train heading towards Wichita Falls, Texas. I then hear on the radio BNSF 670 coming from Dumas Junction off of the Boy City subdivision, heading for the South Yard. BNSF 670 is a Santa Fe Warbonnet D9-44CW, which I had yet to catch one leading this entire trip, let alone on ex-Santa Fe rails. Glad to say I did before having to go home. I'm all the way with Santa Fe. slowly pass the old Amarillo Depot as a remote yard job pulls up behind them with an interesting red engine in the consist.
This red engine is BNSF 198, an EMD GP60 originally built in the 1990s by the Texas Mexican Railway. It's the only solid red engine on the entire BNSF engine roster. Everything came to a halt as I was then moving east on US Highway 60. An eastbound BNSF Q train speeds along as they pass by another derailment site caused by high winds from recent storms in the area. A lot of containers were put on the ground, but wasn't as bad as the Gage, Oklahoma storm in August, shutting down both main tracks. I then get to CP5289 to catch BNSF 5090 with a Q and S train combo, having four engines up front and four engines mid train. <laughs> One more visit to New Mexico was put in as BNSF 8353 works Clovis Yard. A blow of the horn from the engineer caught me by surprise.
I had one more goal before heading back home, and that was to get something knocking down these searchlights at CP East Clovis. BNSF 5813 West would do the honors for me, leading a Z train entering the Clovis subdivision. On the evening of September 3rd, I'm en route back to Amarillo from Wichita Falls as I run into an eastbound with KCS Power in the Consist, passing through Vernon, Texas. My last catch out here in the Texas Panhandle was a lucky one. I had received a tip that one of the newly released BNSF 25th anniversary units was on the point of a southbound loaded coal train coming from the Boys City subdivision. I luckily found that Dumas Junction had a signal indication for them as they slowly approached my location.
MSF-6017 and ES-44AC built in 2006 was one of many other engines that was selected to be repainted into a special paint scheme. This was to commemorate the merger of the Burlington Northern and Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe Railways in September of 1995, 25 years ago to this date. Other railroads were bought out before the merger in the past that's now served by the BNSF today. Burlington Route, Great Northern, Northern Pacific, Frisco, Colorado and Southern, Spokane, Portland and Seattle Railroad, and of course, the Burlington Northern and the Santa Fe. These heritage railroads are proudly represented on these engines. This particular engine here had been out of the paint shop not even for a week. They're running all across the system now. As for me, I wasn't sure when I'd see another one, but I sure am glad I got this one. crew of the 6017 would tie the train down here, as a crew van would be waiting to take them back into Amarillo. What a great way to end my time out here in the wild, wild west. I'm gonna miss being out here, but will always look forward to my return. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and enable that notification bell as well. See y'all back at home from Amarillo, Texas at milepost 329.6 along BNSF's Red River Valley subdivision.